614. A Newport News Middle School is piloting a new program to control the number of fights between students. From March until today, school staff say there have been at least eight fights at Gildersleeve Middle School. Now, one we first told you about last month involving a student's mother assaulting another student in the cafeteria before escaping the building. Tanya Science Michelle Wolf breaks down the new modern hall monitor. An electronic monitoring system aimed at making the halls safer for students and staff. A Newport News spokesperson tells 10 on your side, Gildersleeve Middle School is the only school in the district piloting the e-hall pass and doing so on a 60-day trial. The program, which Gildersleeve launched April 11th, utilizes technology to keep track of students when they're not in class. Teachers who want to be kept anonymous told us every time a student needs to use the bathroom or leave class, they'll ask a teacher to generate an electronic pass through the e-hall pass website. Students use a link on their Chromebook to request a pass, which then pings on a teacher's computer to accept or deny. If a student doesn't return within a timely manner, then teachers must follow protocol by alerting administration or school security. It will cut down on children waiting outside the bathrooms in the hallway, which tends to cause problems. So in other words, if they're still waiting, at least they'll be waiting in the classroom instead of in the hallway. The program also allows school administrators to see how many people are out in the hallway, how long they've been out of class, and limit the number of passes accepted for certain locations. The teachers we spoke with told us they don't think the program is enough to help stop fights in school, but it's a start. I think it's too soon to, too soon to call yet. <clears throat> I'm cautiously optimistic, but I don't think it's going to eliminate fights. Parents like Gildersleeve father Troy Sorensen agree. He tells us he's contacted Gildersleeve's principal and the district superintendent several times about his concerns with violence in school. One fight which happened just a few feet away from his eighth grade daughter. There needs to be hall monitors. There needs to be a physical presence, not, not a little device that's going to say, hey, it's Time to get back in class. Once the 60 day trial period is up, Gildersleeve can decide to keep or get rid of the program. If they like it, it could be expanded district wide. Schools don't need parent approval to use the program with students. Or the major downside is as a teacher who is actively up and teaching, I have to, you know, have it running in the background and have it audibly beeping whenever a pass comes through so that I know I have to walk back to a computer accept or decline a pass and then when the child gets back into my room I have to go back to my computer and do the same thing. Michelle Wolf, 10 on your side.